So, the thing is, you have your mushroom. Okay. Okay, you find it on the wild, then you cut the hat, the casa. Okay. And then you can see the gills. Okay. The gills are these thingies. Yes. Uh huh. Between each gill, yes. there's thousands of little spores. Okay. So, to gather those spores, you must make a spore print. Okay. That is kind of the thing I'm doing here. Ooh. Can you see this dust? This dust is spores. Okay? okay? Spores can be of different colors. In this case, I looked at the spores here, and just by guess, I thought they were white. Mm. Okay? So I choose a black paper, Okay. So I can actually see the spores. Ah. You, it doesn't have to be a black paper. Yes. It's just to be able to see if you made the spore print correctly. Okay. Okay. Also, it's very useful if right. you can identify the mushroom. And if you can identify the mushroom, sometimes in the internet, you can find the color of the spores. Oh, okay. This is a Rusula emetica. Right. It's not either edible, not either magical. Mm. Rusula, I don't know what it stands for, but the medica means vomit, so you don't want to eat, eat this at, uh, if it's not boiled properly. Yeah. They yes. use it for goulash okay. in Europe if it's boiled properly. Right. But yeah, eh, normally it's not edible. Mm. So back to the print, you can do a spore prints for yes. almost every mushroom by cutting the stem okay putting the hat right and then maybe you want to put something absorbent right under the paper you are making the spore to kind of uh, receive the the humidity the the moisture moisture, okay. moisture of the mushroom yes and then you can put something uh, up Right. Could this be a towel as well? Yeah, a tissue, a towel, okay. and something light, not that heavy, right. to make a slight pressure. So over it's it. nothing in that case? Nope, it's no, just nothing. the case. Okay. Yeah. And the paper it, is dry or wet? This paper was uh, dry, okay. but I didn't uh, put the tissue at first, so it became a little bit uh, wet. Okay. So. You can make spore prints for many spores and how then you use the spores, you just scrap it with like a scalp or a, a knife or okay. something, you just scrap the surface, take right. the spores and those spores you can either dissolve them in water okay. or you can just put them straight to some uh, substrate like a nutri nutritive substrate or something. Um, then you can just take the hat, dry it, and use it for whatever you want. Okay, wait, so how long do you press this for? Um, recommend, like the recommendation is 24 hours. Okay. And you can leave it less time than that, more time than that. Right. But 24 hours is like a sure bet that you will get the spore print. Okay. This spore print here has been here since like nine. Nine hours already? Uh, nine, nine o'clock yesterday and now almost uh, t 13 hours. Okay. And wow, you it's a really nice print. Already have like a print. Some spores are still here. Maybe because the, the paper is uh, this kind of paper. It's smooth, eh? Yeah, and okay. it's like kind of slippery. So maybe not all the spores are getting attached to this paper. Right. I just choose it because it was black. Okay, yeah, but it's cool. A little mo bit more um, porous material. Right. Like a regular sheet would be better, maybe. Right. Um, because this is kind of plastic, you know? Mm, it's it's tsuru tsuru. Yeah, tsuru tsuru. Okay. But also you can use pieces of plastic if you want to scrape the spores more easily after. Ah, okay. Because if you get a too porous material, the spores will get in the paper and you will not be able to scrap them. Oh, okay. Yeah? You can't just use the paper like that then, if that happens? If you, yeah, you can just put the paper, 
Yeah, yeah should be no problem. Okay. Um, in fact, you can do it in aluminum foil. It also, also works in aluminum foil. Really? Yeah. Depends on the type of spore. Some spores are more sticky, some spores are less sticky. Depends all on the biology of the mushroom. All oh. mushrooms are different. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's it. Now Are you can do your own. Shit, arigato. Uh, mushroom sports. Uh, prints. Arigato, that's. <laughs>